Hello and welcome to Kaleidoscopic Realms here at Nottingham Castle. I'm Jennifer Gilbert and this is Christopher Samuel and we're the co-curators of this exhibition. We come into the space and we're faced with Cameron Morgan's work which we used for the poster for the exhibition which is this bright poppy work and he's made this brand new series of work especially for this exhibition around his love of cameras. Yeah. So we see some incredible ceramics yeah. which are just so yeah. hilarious. <laughs> There's something nostalgic about it. Mm -hmm. His love for photography. It shines through. Oh God, yeah. And even his paintings, at least known for his outlines, mm -hmm. that's translated to, mm -hmm. to, to the ceramics itself. And to the embroidered scraps, <laughs> which are insanely yeah. good. Yeah. And then also in that space is Richard. So Richard works out of shadow light in Oxford and his series that we have in the show is all about water yeah. and his love of water and his love of being by the sea and that as we have heard has come from him growing up in Gibraltar and being near the sea so we went to see quite a few of his work and just fell in love with the storytelling through his artwork yeah, they draw you in it's mythical, it's playful, mm -hmm. it's funny mm -hmm. you constantly find a new thing mm -hmm. in it and in the second room we have James Gladwell, who works at Barrington Farm and has done since the late 1980s, so a long-standing member of Barrington Farm. And his work is all about stitch and he learned how to cross-stitch from his grandmother when he was really little and always tiny cross-stitches making up quite small but then quite large works. What took me back was how delicate mm -hmm. the, the embodies are, but also how detailed mm. that the amount of patience you need mm. in order to produce mm. the kind of detailed mm. or gentle mm. kind of embroidery pieces. Mm. So also in that room we have yeah. Leslie Thompson who works at Adventure Arts and Leslie is all about his memory. They're all things that he remembers from the TV or from trips that he's been on and sometimes his personal life comes in so sometimes him and his mom going on trips to places. Yeah. His work in person is activating. Mm. You're transported back to the 80s mm. and 90s. Like I grew up watching uh, the 80s and all those programs. It's painful, it's engaging. And it's the nostalgia, I think. You really need to get in close to his works because not only is there the drawing, he writes a little story, a little anecdote next to it. And then the final artist in that room is Michelle Roberts and her very big canvases, but also her beautiful concertina books that were described as like looking at stained glass windows yeah. and through kaleidoscopes, yeah. the way they kind of break up yeah. into small pieces. Yeah, there, again, her use of colour is insane. And pattern, and pattern. Uh, is breathtaking as well. The words that we selected, I think it shows a progression Mm -hmm. of her practice Oh, well. yes. So that was really nice. And then we come into the next room, which is basically an explosion of colour. Yeah. <laughs> so one of the artists in that room is Naina Kalu, who works out of Action Space in London and has done for over 20 years. And Naina is all about repetitive movements and kind of this circular kind of motion with drawings and with the materials, how she wraps them. So we have some of her drawings and some big sculptural pieces that were specifically kind of built up for this exhibition. Yeah. Her drawings are somewhat sculptural to me. Mm. They feel like they're sculptures mm. and they're this continuous line or layers, mm. building of layers. Mm. Is, they're impressive yeah. in person. And because Nana is mostly non-verbal as well, yeah. the, the way that you watch her and the way that she communicates through her work and it's very powerful yeah. to watch. Yeah. And then also in her room is Siddharth Gadir, yeah. who works at Project Artworks in Hastings. And he's the only artist that we haven't met in person yeah. because of the nature of who he is and how he is when other people he doesn't know is in the space. But Sid's work is yeah. big and powerful and yeah. colourful. Yeah. The breathtaking again mm -hmm. is the use of colour and I'm still in awe of how he goes about creating it mm -hmm. and the speed as well. Because mm -hmm. he makes one yeah. in a three hour session, yeah. one of these big paintings. Yeah. 
And then we come through into the final room, which is this bright yellow room. And it has Thompson Hall's work. And Thompson works out of action space in London, but a different studio to Nana. So Thompson's work is all about um, what's happening in the world right now, and a lot to do with politics, and a lot to do with marginalization, but also looking at his own heritage, which I know is something that's quite important to yeah. you and your work. But his work is really bright yeah. and in your face. And he makes these really accessible symbols that he uses across the work to kind of show in a very simple way some of the things that he's trying to understand from the television and make them simpler for himself and for other people to kind of understand them. When you engage with Thompson's work, it's, like he said, I think he, how did he put it? He's like a journalist. Mm. So he finds a headline and then breaks it down in order for people to understand mm. and use the symbols. Mm. And for me, that's really effective. And then the other thing we wanted to do with this exhibition was to kind of leave people with a question when they were leaving that we want people to kind of answer um, if they choose to. And it was, when was the last time you felt seen and, and why? Yeah. Um, and this felt really important because, because of the idea of this exhibition about people not being seen within contemporary art spaces very often, but also how disabled people and neurodivergent people are seen in society or not seen in society. I want people to leave the exhibition thinking about their position in the world, mm -hmm. you know, and, and have a bit more think outside of your own experience. Mm, definitely, yeah. definitely.